Hello, good afternoon to, well, better good evening to everybody. Today, we are going to do another video interview session for TV, the channel of España Navarra Confidencial newspaper. At this time, we are going to host a conversation with somebody from the motherland of people like Vitor Pileki and Saint John Paul II. He is Michael Blossack, who is going to talk with us about the interest of Polish young people in pro-tradition and pro-liberty views is know that somehow it's easier to find conservative or traditionalist guys in Poland than in Ireland, Spain, or France. By the way, when we refer to liberty, we are not invocating to the French Revolution sense. <laughs> we understand liberty in the Thomas and Austrian sense. So don't get scared. <laughs> Before starting with the conversation, I would like you to introduce yourself. Okay, so... Uh... As you said, my name is Michał Waszczak. Uh, I am uh, chief of uh, YAF section uh, uh, for Lublin of, of Corvin Party. I also uh, work uh, with uh, Young Crusade, uh, the branch of TFP, uh, Traditional Family Property from Brazil. And also I am a member of uh, um, Academic Corporation, uh, it's uh, kind of traditionalist fraternity uh, and also I, I was involved uh, in the past in uh, Colibar society Thank you very much Now to begin with that I would like to know how relevant is monarchy among Polish people, especially in the young segment. I know that Corbyn Party is one of the favorite for young people, it is strongly monarchist. So I would like to have a greater perspective about the reasons why there are many Polish in Polish people in favor of monarchy. Anyway, we don't want to focus on specific dynasties, just monarchy in general. Yes. So uh, in Poland, the idea of monarchy uh, isn't very popular uh, among uh, uh, average uh, average uh, voters, but uh, many young people, especially uh, politically active people, uh, favor monarchy as a superior uh, system than democracy. 
um, many young people, many activists from my circles uh, see the downsides of democracy and they don't like it. Uh, they, they see the corruption, they see uh, all this uh, uh, circus going around in parliament on the streets mm -hmm. and they want a change. Uh, we see a trend that is still uh, not, not so high trend, but, but it's, it's rising, a uh, trend among young people uh, to favor monarchy. In our uh, party, Confederacja, which is a coalition of right-wing uh, parties, of Korwin party, uh, Confederacja Korony Polski uh, and uh, and um, the nationalists of the Confederacja Korony Polski are are Catholic monarchists, I would say, uh, uh, around uh, Grzegorz Brown and and the nationalists. So these are the the three parties of our Confederacja Confederacji, and we had a survey, internal survey, about uh, views of of average uh, voter of our party. And the most uh, people uh, are in favor of monarchy. It is uh, around 30%. 30% 30 uh, of voters of Confederacia are in favor of monarchy. 23% uh, are favor of the, the presidential system, uh, uh, more like American style. Uh, and uh, only 15 are still in favor for democracy. So uh, this is the party of the youth. And it has the, the biggest, um, the biggest amount of votes uh, be between uh, among, among young people. So this is definitely a, a party, a movement uh, of future for Poland. And obviously, democracy is a disaster in general. Leaving aside discussion on short-term possibilities, things like voting, confederacia, peace, or in the Spanish case, vote, is true that is not a good system for moral and practical reasons. We may claim that democracy promotes relativism because truth, good, and aesthetic ideas are subject to the majority rule in a session, not necessarily in a parliament. A referendum may be included too. On the other hand, is just a dictatorship of majority that may pay the way for the consolidation of totalitarian governments. Many evil, totalitarian and inhuman people came to power thanks to elections. For instance, Hitler or Hugo Chavez in Venezuela. Now, I wonder what do you think about the Liechtenstein monarchist model, which is far away from the constitutional monarchies in countries like Spain, where we do have in reality such a republic with a crown people. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, the Liechtenstein is uh, example for all uh, the ones who 
doubt uh, for post monarchism uh, in now, uh, nowadays because uh, it shows us that monarchy can can work and it works uh, very well Liechtenstein uh, is one of the most developed most rich countries uh, in the in Europe and uh, Still, it has uh, it maintains conservative values uh, with uh, with uh, with the majority backing up it uh, because of the um, of the of the prince uh, who, who rules uh, the Liechtenstein. Apart from and, the prince, uh, who is a combined Catholic, the parliament is ruled by a conservative and pro-market majority. Moreover, most of their citizens voted against the legalization of abortion. Against? Against the legalization of abortion. Mm -hmm. I see, but uh, the, the prince uh, uh, didn't allow it, uh, as, as I... Uh... Uh, the I prince, could. the prince said that he will apply a veto in case, in the case that most people voted against the protection of unborn children. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, back to the topic. Uh, back to the question. Uh, and I think it shows that uh, we really don't need a democracy. The Liechtenstein, uh, Liechtenstein shows us that uh, monarchism is uh, still a, a good thing uh, nowadays. As, as you said, um, um, Prince can uh, um, defend the, the exactly. values, uh, good values. And also, and also, he provides the, the free market regulations. Like I mean, uh, more more free market uh, economy. Exactly, Liechtenstein is one of the free countries in Europe. Moreover, it allows citizens to succeed in a local individual level. Yes, so it is a he, he gave He gave the example of uh, the decision of joining the European Union that may not be satisfying for all the all their citizens. Nevertheless, at the moment, there's no attempt of secession. Maybe their citizens are very, very comfortable with the political ecosystem under that government. Moreover, yes, uh, that country is a good practical reference for paleo-libertarians and pro-market traditionalists. Yes. Those are represented by people like Hans Hermann Hoppe, Thomas Good, Jesus Huerta de Soto, or Miguel Anzo Bastos, among others. I would like also to, to add to the Liechtenstein case that uh, it has also a very high income from taxes. Uh, Mm, although having uh, having uh, a little amount of, of uh, people, uh, the, the small population, it is because it is one of the um, taxation uh, paradise, and um, many many uh, many uh, taxpayers from Europe uh, escape from their countries to Liechtenstein to pay lower taxes and. That makes Liechtenstein uh, richer and stronger. So, yes.
Well, after having addressed one of the most interesting political models for pro-market traditionalists and right-wing libertarians, I would like to express my personal concern because some recent, recent opinion polls are showing that since 2023, in spite of the good position of Confederacia, many young people is switching to the left. For example, yesterday, I could read that the top option was the post-communist coalition whose name is Levitza, composed by the Polish allies of Spanish parties, PSOE and Podemos. It says that one of the reasons is that leftist lobbies play with feelings of people and that mass media is promoting specific values. Moreover, I know that the revolution phenomena is pushing to impose its rules in Eastern Europe, well, sorry, Central Eastern Europe. I refer to countries like Poland and Hungary, among others. When I talk about revolution, I refer to the explanation that some time ago was given by Brazilian thinker Plinio Correa de Oliveira, something based on a project of evolutive maintenance with different phases. At this moment, we are coming into the field that's based on great research project and 2030 agenda under the gift of Chinese people. But I would like you to give more details about that likelihood of a switch to the left in the land part of the population. So if I um, understood correctly, um, you, you asked me to, to give the reasons of uh, young people switching to the left, right? Exactly. Okay. So in my opinion, um, it is uh, because the left um, is giving uh, 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 convenient uh, rules for young people, like uh, sexual freedom or or also economic uh, stability provided by welfare uh, politics, which, which are all uh, false, because uh, we we saw the uh, the the outcome of of the welfare politics uh, in in many countries. It is Venezuela, for example. What's going on there? There is a huge inflation. And uh, the sexual freedom uh, leads to a moral disaster uh, within the society. Uh, but these are very attractive uh, positions for young people, uh, for all people, uh, because uh, they say you don't uh, you don't have to do anything. You can do what you want, but. Uh, Mm, then they basically 
uh, preach tolerance for um, for bad, for evil, and they prosecute uh, the good. In uh, in this uh, society, you cannot uh, propagate. You cannot. Uh, uh, favor the, the good ideas, for example, when you speak out about the, the problems of people, uh, of sodomites, uh, that they have the mental problems, uh, but also many physical problems, uh, which are linked to, the, uh, to their practices, um, you are prosecuted. And you cannot teach about the, the good values. So, in my opinion, this, these are the reasons why the left is uh, uh, has some uh, has some uh, advantage over us. But I also think that uh, and these polls you are referring to are from, uh, they may be from uh, uh, some manipulated sources because uh, I, I believe uh, all the sources, uh, legitimate sources, the professional uh, poll services uh, say that the Confederacja is uh, number one among the young people. So, it might be the trend, but uh, I think we still win uh, within within the AF. So the main idea of your latest answer is that polls may not show the precise reality. Moreover, it's important to say that that analytics tends to make predictions instead of stressing and stating a clear forecast, the human action is impossible to foresee according to a really pattern. Before Finishing, I will be interested in the work of two of the associations and entities where you are participating in the cultural, political, and spiritual battle. In an essay, what about? Mlotzigla Bolnosi and Krusata Mlotzig. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, I would like also to return to the first question because I forgot to mention that I am also a member of Polish Monarchist Circle. It is uh, more, uh, it, it has uh, a similar profile to your uh, organization. We work uh, in medias, we, we write uh, articles, we also try, uh, trying to make interviews like uh, we do right now. And we are promoting the, the monarchism. Um, our goal is to, to, um, to popularize the monarchism among um, uh, average people. And uh, coming back to your act actual question, uh, so Moji Lavolności is the YAF section of Corvin Party. And our main goal is uh, to work in politics, uh, in, in public opinion, in uh, public sphere, to promote the values of Latin civilization uh, based on the Christian uh, ethics and uh, Greek uh, love for, for truth, and also on the on promoting the Roman law values. Um, 
and we do the um, press conferences, we make uh, ha political happenings, we also uh, train young people for debates, uh, we organize the debates, uh, we train people for, for public... Uh, I see that in your social media. Uh, for, for public... Uh, Speaking and discussion speech must be yes. trained. Thank you. And, uh, and these these are our um, our areas of of uh, of uh, action. Młodzi dla wolności and the Cruciata Młody uh, Young Crusade. Uh, it is. Uh, it is the, the section for non-TFP members uh, um, made around the, the TFP group here in Poland. Uh, as you may know, TFP is the Society for Defense of Tradition, Family and Property funded by Professor Pinio Correa de Oliveira in Brazil in 1970. And... Uh, we basically uh, make uh, public actions. We also do the retreats uh, for young people. Uh, we have the conferences with the, with the experts from all around the world. We have experts from America, from uh, Italy, from France and Brazil. For example, uh, Mr. Jose Antonio Ureta, uh, Mr. Julio Loredo and uh, uh, Dr. Xavier, uh, Xavier da, Silvera, uh, da Silvera and uh, Mr. Fernando Antunes, uh, they, um, they teach us how to, how to fight the revolution because the main goal of the TFP and the Young Crusade is to fight the revolution in public opinion. And we do it by the public actions and by, by public prayers. Sorry. And recently, last is year, it, we... Uh, sorry. It's yes. important, in this regard, it's important to note one that the most important book in the TFP environment is Revolution and Cancer Revolution, written by Plinio Correa de Oliveira. This book is as important as the human action, rights to serve, dawn, or monarch or democracy, the God that fails in the Austrian libertarian field. The same with the capital in the fucking Marxist field. Moreover, personally, I do recommend conservatives and non-progressive libertarians to read traditionalist thinkers like Plinio Correa de Oliveira because of the fact that it provides an excellent resource for the cultural complement because not everything is about economics. Everything is important. Yes. You, you can continue. Anyway, forgive me for the interruption, but I wanted to make a note just in case we forgot to talk about an important book for the counter revolution. Yes, I, I thank you for this commentary. I think it is it is very valuable, especially for our viewers. And uh, as you said, not everything is about economics. As uh, Corvin Mika used to say, uh, we will repair the economics in two weeks or, or in a few months. But the mentality of people will take uh, years and even generations to, to make it uh, straight again, to, to repair it, to restore it, to, to order. Um, what happened is, is that change can only be done from the bottom. 
Yes. Political change requires from a social consenting. For example, if people is getting used to the artificial providence based on welfare state, it's impossible to abolish the state if people is extremely combined of the fact that socialism is very good despite the fact that evidence show the opposite. No yeah. matter what grade of socialism may be applied, the damage is not always as hard because it depends on the grade of application. But in no phase, we can find plenty of benefits. Yes, yes, uh, I agree with you. And coming back to our question and uh, the actions of, of uh, Cruciata Młodych, last year we made a uh, big uh, public action in, in Warsaw uh, against uh, sodomites, uh, against uh, sodomite activism. We were collecting the signatures under the um, under the, the act to, to ban the sodomite spirit and, and uh, sodomite, sodomite activism. And uh, it was, uh, it has, uh, it had many repercussions. It was uh, very widespread because of the one incident we had um, when we were in the Seoul center of Warsaw. Uh, near to the metro stations, uh, we, we were barked at by, by young uh, leftists <laughs> and <laughs> we recorded it and, and it went vi viral, this, this video. So uh, yes, we managed to, to make a, a good, uh, good repercussions from our action and um, to, uh, ridiculize the, the revolution, the, the left. <laughs> mm, and basically, mm, we also do uh, in free cities, our goal is to, to spread it to, to whole Poland, to, to every, every uh, major, uh, major city, to, to organize uh, monthly uh, public rosary, public prayer, uh, to, to fight the secularists, to fight the indifferentism within the society. Now we make it in, in three cities uh, every month, here in Lublin, in Białystok, and in Warsaw. Does this mean that Spanish traditionalist entities like Carlis Traditionalist Communion organize in some cities in defense of unborn children against the culture of death. Once we've addressed all those interesting, interesting topic, topics, if you don't have anything else to add, we could finish the conversation. I am very thankful to you for your interest in keeping us up to date on Polish pro tradition and pro liberty movement. Also, for giving an interesting perspective, as in any other very good ideas that may inspire us. I thank all the people who watch with watching that conversation 
for this interest. Besides, I invite everybody to follow us in our social media and to visit our website, espanaconfidencial.com. Thank you very much again, Mitchell. I hope to keep collaborating with you, as in with other courageous and bright-minded poles. I also hope to see you again by this media, although to be honest, it will be better, better to have the meeting in person in your voice of sleep. Indeed, I, I am looking forward to, to meet you in person. If God wants, maybe this summer. Pray yes. and cross your fingers. <laughs> I will. All the best. To you too. Thank you very much. Dovidzenia. Dovidzenia.